Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to split audio and video in Final Cut Pro. Oh, hey, no need for tears. Don't worry, kids, audio and video are fine. They're just taking a break. I'm gonna share with you how to use multiple tools to separate audio and video, and then we're gonna take a look at exporting audio only. Let's go check that out. All right, so right here in Final Cut Pro, we're taking a look at how to split audio and video. So the first thing I wanna look at is some of these clips here. Let's go ahead and just play this back. All right, so all three of these clips have audio that is just a lot of noise. So what I wanna do is show you a couple different ways to get rid of that. So first thing is simply to drag the audio down. But let's say you don't want to have that accidentally get back up and get, you know, get lost in the shuffle and, and somehow the volume just comes right back. So what we can do is we can select that, go up to clip and detach audio. Now you can see what happened just there. The audio dropped from that clip down below this audio track that we have here. Okay, so I'm gonna disable the music clip so we can hear the audio. So now that it's detached, we can actually drag it to anywhere uh, in, in, in the timeline. Um, it doesn't have to be stay connected to this any longer, but in this case, we wanna just get rid of it. Okay, so we can do the same thing here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, show you right here. You can detach the audio by right-clicking and selecting detach audio, or you can press Control Shift S. And that will separate it for you there too. You can also select multiple clips, detach the audio for multiple clips. So let's say you had a whole stack of sound effects and different things. And you just wanted to hear what this one clip was doing. We can highlight it. We'll click on the solo button over here, which uh, the shortcut for that is option S. And as we play it back, we will just hear this audio. Video is still coming through, but all audio is muted except for what's been selected. Same thing if we wanted to do just the music. Same sort of thing. Just another way we can separate and differentiate audio from video. All right, something else we can do is expand audio. All right, so we can highlight these and we can expand audio, which is just Control S. And what that does, you can still see there's these little diagonal lines that are keeping these clips connected. So they're not suddenly gonna get moved around if we try to drag the audio clip. But what we can do is we can drag the end of these clips. So let's say we wanted this clip to end and go to the cut to the next video before the audio has been finished. And let's say we wanna do the same thing on the other side and just have there be sort of a blend between the two. We can actually drag some fades in here and make it to where this transition is not as abrupt. You're kind of anticipating what's coming next because you hear the sound before the video is taking place. And alternatively, you hear the sound from the previous video that is just fading out and beginning to leave while you're in the new video. And then you can put those right back into their place by pressing Control S again. Control S will just open and close expand and collapse that audio. And those changes still still are there even though the audio has been collapsed. So when it comes to cutting video, you can cut audio the same way. So if you wanna use a blade tool, you can bring out a blade tool and cut it. You can also trim to end by selecting it, holding option and using the bracket key, right or left bracket will trim the start or the end. And then let's say that this was a voiceover for our clip. Test one, two. There might be an echo in here. Is there an echo? Echo! So let's say we wanna pull that voiceover out of there, but we don't want that video. Uh, what we can do is, just like earlier, Control Shift S, we'll separate that audio, we can delete that video, and we have retained the audio down Test below. One, two. There might be an echo in here. Turn this down a Is little there bit. an echo? Very nice. Now there's more footage splitting action on the way, but I want you to know that we share new videos like this all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you can get notified when we release our next video. All right, now let's say you needed the audio from your project separate from your video, 
and, and, and you, need, you needed the full file. Maybe you need to submit it to a third party. Maybe someone else is gonna be editing the audio for you in a different program. Or uh, maybe this is just gonna be released perhaps like in podcast form or on video where you, you don't need the video, you just need audio. So to export just the audio, so we're gonna go up to file, share, and add destination. So there's no specific option available for us right now for just audio only. If we, if we drag over the export file, we'll double click on this, rename this audio only. So then we have some options. So we're gonna customize these. This is gonna create a destination so that every time you're ready to export audio only, it'll default to these settings. So we're gonna select audio only, audio format. This is just depending on the either your preference or the need for what project you're using it for. Let's just roll with MP3. You can choose whether to include chapter markers or not, and whether you want it to save only or open up with music app or some other kind of uh, app that you wanna have it previewed on or played on. We're gonna choose just to save only on this. Okay, so that creates the destination. Let's go ahead and go back. We're gonna press the X on that window. Then we can go up to share right over here, or we can come up here to the side, click this share button, and there it is, audio only. You can change this to audio only. We've got some details here. Stereo, 44.1 kilohertz, duration, the type of file, the estimated file size, and where it's gonna be compatible with. In the settings, we have everything that we saved before. It's right there. All right, so we can go ahead and click next and save that to our documents. And let's watch the background task. You see it's share in there. It went very fast, it's a short file. And here it is. Go ahead and play that. Test one, two. There might be an echo in here. Is there an echo? Echo! Nice. So we've taken a look at multiple ways that we can separate audio and video, including exporting audio only to be used outside of Final Cut Pro. And with that, we reach the end. Thanks for tagging along. Sometimes audio just needs room to breathe. Now that you've learned how to split audio and video in Final Cut Pro, I've made another video about how to sync audio and video in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.